welcome to my baby secrets video in vogue today it's me the natural lover and today i'll be bringing you guys along on my supermodel glam makeup look <laughs> i was just kidding hi lovers it's me the natural lover and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be acting like we are part of a vogue beauty secrets video so yeah let's get into it this vogue beauty secrets um video has been going very viral on youtube but i think it was mostly viral last year um but yeah i decided that i want to also hop in because this trend cannot go without me participating in it so the first thing most vogue beauty secrets models start with is skincare So yeah, I think their skincare is a very necessary step in their makeup routine, which is very true. If your base isn't good, trust me, your makeup will flop, like literally flop. So make sure you make it a point that before you put any makeup, that your skin is flawless. They say if your skin doesn't look almost wet, then your base isn't right. If your skin doesn't look dewy and it doesn't look damn near wet before you put your makeup on, it's gonna look crusty, so. Unfortunately, I have already done my skincare. Okay, not fully. I've just cleansed and exfoliated. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna show you guys what I use for my cleansing and exfoliating. I've been using my Dove Beauty Cream Bar for I think six or seven years now, it's really been helping me and all because I used to have acne, a lot of acne, mind you, like a lot of acne at a young age, like I think grade seven and grade six, yeah, and a bit of grade eight, yes, so I had a lot of acne and I had to find a proper skincare routine so that my acne isn't as bad. So that has helped me a lot. I've been using it. I feel like they should sponsor me by now. Like I should become their brand ambassador because who uses Dove for so long? I'm sure I'm the first. Cause like, please give me, give me, give me my flowers. Dove, I hope you watch this. Give me my flowers, please. For exfoliating, I haven't really found a proper brand or skin yeah a skin product or something to help me so when i put on my dove i use it as my mask sometimes or i can use it as my cleanser or i can use it as my exfoliator and i'll show you guys how so basically once i've let the dove sit for approximately 10 minutes i would okay get into the shower and i would use this that i bought i think it's this other store in crystal mall Yes, this is for people that live in South Africa, but I think you can find it online. Yes, I use this. I got introduced by my friend. Yes, shout out to her. She introduced me to it and it's been working wonders on my skin. So this acts as my exfoliator and I haven't looked back ever since. The next thing I will do when I'm done is to give my face an ice bath. Which I didn't do today, so you guys are lucky, so I'm going to do it with you. I just take an ice cube and gently press it on my skin. This really opens up your pores and lets the blood flow. Therefore, giving your face a smooth surface and giving your makeup also a smooth surface to sit on. I really enjoy doing this, even though it's cold. I really do enjoy doing this. It helps me a lot and yeah you can see already my skin is beginning to look very flawless so if you haven't adopted an ice bath into your routine I would advise you to do that because you're missing out on a game-changing experience So then I just pat dry my face and the excess water that's still left, I just let it just 
dry on my face already my face is beginning to look flawless which is a good sign so i've been getting brush on my face like a lot of brush like on my cheeks around my eye just these specific places yes um yesterday i woke up with it and then i put epidemi this is what my mom recommended for me when i first had the lash and it disappeared this morning so i don't really like putting it every day unless i get the rash but yeah so we're gonna skip that step for today also in grade seven grade six my mom introduced me to ponds we just we literally bought everything we tried cutie cure we tried even and lovely we tried gentle magic and i forgot the other one that we tried but then Pons is the one that helped me. This one is written very oily. And as I said, I've got dry skin. So I then put my Vaseline Blue Seal on my face. So basically what I'll do is put the Pons and then it dry down a bit. And then I put on my Vaseline. Most people don't like Vaseline because they say that it is against the sun. So if you're out in the sun a long time... Just gonna get fried because it's basically fish and oil and whatsoever. Um, for me, that that that's that's not how it is. Vaseline really helps me get back that shine because, as I told you guys, I've got dry skin. And with ponds, they do sell a vanishing cream that is for um dry skin, but it's really hard to find and it's really expensive. So I just use this that I've been using. I put on my face line. Yeah. But the only reason I started using ponds was for my pimples. And as it said here, oil control. And if you guys know, when you've got your pimples, your skin is mostly oily. So for me, during those years, I had pimples and my skin was oily due to the pimples and the acne. But for now, because I don't really have that much acne and my pimples just come only when I'm on my period, just one would pop up and then I'll know, yeah, my period is very soon. Um, I don't really have any skin anymore. So, yeah. But I still use this because I'm not used to it and it helps me. And I don't want to stop, so yeah, I just add the seam to it. So, I take my pawns, as I said, and I put it on my skin. I take the pond, I put it on my skin, and I let it dry. So once it's dry like this, then I take Vaseline, just take a little, not a lot, just want to bring back some shine, then I put it on my face. Here we go. So now that my base is all complete, um, we can now move on to the makeup. For makeup, I usually start with my brows because... I really love watching um, makeup videos on YouTube and all my beauty gurus start with their brows so I've adopted it. If you guys didn't know, I used to have very bushy eyebrows. Like, I don't know if you guys can see but then they're growing back. They're just bushy. I had trimmed them but now it's growing back and I'm very lazy to do it again because the trimming, it's... It's just long. It's a long process, but yeah. So with my eyebrows, I don't really know exactly how to go for it. I really don't know. I still haven't discovered that. So I just put my brow gel and I just carry on like that. I don't really do anything crazy. Then I just put the concealer in whatsoever to shade them. But I feel like it all depends on how I'm feeling on that day because sometimes I do soap brows but 
if you guys didn't know and you haven't been keeping on on the tiktok trends they basically are saying that so brows have to go in 2024 which is so sad because i love my so brows i really love them but yeah i know most people will be like but sam um if people decide to stop something it doesn't mean you have to stop it because if you like it then that's all that matters you and everything but i don't know i really don't know i i don't know but yes once they're laminated like this i shape them you know i would put some at the back of my hand and with a straight brush i would just trace the underneath Next, when I'm done with that, I will just blend it downwards though. And then I will just fill in. And that's it for my brows. Next, I move on to my primer. I've been really liking a very water-based and gel-based primer. Because, as I said, we need grip. And that grip comes from water primers. Okay. That's a good I'm really becoming a... Concealer only girly, but then because I said I'm going for a supermodel look Like the agencies and the model look I need to use foundation. So that's sad, but honestly, it's okay. It's okay Finding a true foundation shade is really difficult They believe me when I tell you it is very difficult so I try like the foundation that I just put I had to mix two foundation shades because not most brands are very really inclusive but I can't blame them like some of us are just I don't know I really don't know but they are foundation brands or like just makeup brands that are really trying with my forehead as you guys can see it's darker so now I look crazy but don't worry we're gonna fix that go in with a wet beauty blender just to blend everything and to blend these lines that I'm seeing and to make it look more flawless I wouldn't say I've mastered a good makeup um, look and stuff because I'm a newbie, not really a newbie, but I've been doing makeup for less than a year. Um, yeah. But um, I've gone to big events while doing my own makeup and people didn't even tell the difference. So I think that is a good thing. If you haven't listened to anything I said this whole video, make sure your skin is good. Skin prep. Skin prep, skin prep, make sure your skin is flawless, otherwise you're just wasting your time, literally wasting your time. Next step of my routine is to put um, blush. What I would do is firstly put the blush before I put my concealer. This way, if you have put a lot of blush, able to control it with the concealer I think this is enough now when we're done with that now we can go on to 
our concealer. With concealer, I really like to lift my face. So every time I drew it on my face, it needs to be lifted. Just to give me that lifted model look. To look snatched. So the key to good concealer is to let it sit for a minute or two. So that's what I'm going to do. I said I just spray a tiny bit of setting spray. I first start blending on, off with the brush and then I go on to my sponge. Lastly, I will just bronze. Next, I will just put some pressed powder. With eyeshadow, I haven't really mastered a look, so I just put on a shiny eyeshadow. I put on my eyeliner. Lastly, I put on my fake lashes. And with my lashes, I just move on to my lip combo, which is very easy. I just overline my lips with a black pencil. Then I put my lip gloss. Some setting spray. So this is the complete makeup look. I really like it. I just had to cut to do my hair. I had to film that on TikTok. And yeah, this is the official makeup look. I really like it. You guys will tell me what you think. I love how everything has blended in together and created this beautiful makeup look. And how the skin looks absolutely flawless. And yeah, it's giving clean, it's giving cute, it's giving supermodel basically. So yes, this is the official makeup look. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram and I'm trying to pop up on Pinterest so make sure you follow me there as well. Until next time, I love you guys and stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next video.